you pray to God? All day long. You do? You know what the... I pray for more. I pray for people. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, give me uh, Proverbs 28 and 9. Uh, what the officer was bringing out about women wearing pants and men wearing dresses, that's called cross-dressing. God doesn't like that. It's an abomination, right? So I want you to remember that word abomination. Read that. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. You hear that? Read it again. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, so, a law is what? Men not supposed to wear dresses, women not supposed to wear pants. So it says anyone that turns their ear, meaning don't want to keep this law, their prayers is what? Even, even his prayer shall be abomination. So that means your prayers is an abomination. So if you are an abomination by wearing pants, that means your prayer is an abomination. Give me 15, uh, Proverbs 15 and 9. Let me get that real quick. Proverbs 15 and 9. Yeah, that's why that's why I'm giving you what thus says the Lord. So now it could prompt you to repent, to change. Read that. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 9. Uh -huh. The way of the wicked is abomination unto the Lord. So the way of the wicked. Anybody who doesn't keep God's law, that's the way of the wicked. So what is the law? A, a, no, a law is, one of the laws we just brought out to you was what? For you to put on a dress, for you not to wear pants. So when you wear pants, that is a way of the wicked. You understand? The way of the wicked is what? Breaking God's laws, right? So the way of the wicked is what? The way of the wicked is abomination unto the Lord. So your prayers is an abomination and you are an abomination. Give me John 9 and 31 now. I just want to give you these things so you can, you can think about it so it can get you to repentance. Because that's why we are here. We are here to show our people who they are according to the Bible. You are Israelite and you have to repent and start keeping God's laws and the faith of Christ. Read that, bro. John chapter 9 verse 31. Uh -huh. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. So God doesn't hear sinners. Your prayers are an abomination. What is the sin? What does sin mean? Okay, okay. I know you ought to go for look. Where you at right there? Okay, okay. I like I like that answer. It's backslide, meaning to turn away from God's laws. But we're gonna show you exactly what sin is according to the Bible. Because God told us what it is in our records, in our book. Read that. This is the book of first John, uh -huh. chapter three, verse four. Read. Whosoever committed sin. So who was up? Whosoever committed sin, read. Transgressive also the law. So transgress means to break. So whoever sins breaks the law. So if you sin by wearing pants, you're breaking the law. So that is sin, right? So now go back to John. So breaking God's laws or his rules that he has for his children, that is what we call sin. Or in layman's terms, that is a crime against God. So when you break his rules, you are breaking, you are committing a crime towards God. So when you pray to him, guess what? He doesn't hear it. Read. This is the book of John, chapter 9, verse 31. Huh? Now we know that God heareth not sinners. So we know that. God does not hear sin. He doesn't hear sin. So how do you get God to start listening to you? You, you have to start repenting, changing your ways. Give me Psalms 19 and 7 real quick. Because what you pray, you need to repent. Exactly. Start keeping God's laws. So we're going to show you the keys to repentance. How to get there. That's why we are here. To help you change your thinking. So what? You can now start teaching your family members. Start teaching your young daughters. Your nieces. Your nephews. Your cousins. Read. This is the book of Psalms. Chapter 19. Verse 7. Uh -huh. The law of the Lord is perfect. So the rules of God. They are perfect. The laws of God are perfect. His rules are perfect. They're powerful and they're perfect. Read on. Converting the soul. And it changes your mind. The laws is what changes. So when you start to hear this word, you start to meditate on it, thinking about, man,
saying, you know what, I gotta do what's right. I can't continue living in darkness. I gotta start living in light. Because God's laws is what gives you light. Now you can see. Read on. The testimony of the Lord is sure. What's in this Bible, this is what's sure. Anything else outside of this Bible, this is it's a lie. But the white man has taught us through what? His school system, through his religions, through his politics, those are lies. But what this Bible is talking about, this is what's going to set you free. This is what's going to get you the kingdom of heaven. Because when Christ comes back, he ain't coming back with hugs and kisses. He coming back with a sword. He coming back with nuclear fire. You understand? And people are going to get put to death. That's why we're out here to warn you today. To what? Read that again. The Lord of the Lord is perfect, uh -huh. converting the soul. We're out here to give you the laws that will convert you. That is perfect. Now give me, um, keep on reading. The testimony of the Lord is sure, uh -huh. yeah. making wise the simple. Because now these laws is going to make you wise. Yeah. Because outside of these laws, you're simple. At, in no disrespect, but you're dumb when you're not keeping these laws. But keeping these laws is what makes you smart, what makes you wise. That's what a wise man will do. A wise woman would do. It will heart you. Give me that uh, One Night Psalms 11959. Because you, you, once you hear these laws, you got to be like, man, you know what? You're right. I do have to change. All my life, I've been told lies. All my life, it's been in ruins. Because sin is our ruin. Sin is what keeps us living like this, living in a gutter. There was a woman not too long ago that got killed right here. She was driving. Next you know, a bullet went through the window and killed her right here on this corner. And it happens just like that. It happens all the time. Heroin is being sold. People out here nodding off. Whatever type of drug it is. But it's out here killing our people. Right. So now what do you have to do now that you know that you're supposed to wear a dress? You're supposed to repent. And this is another thing, another rule that help you to get to that point. Read on. So chapter 119, verse 59. Read. I thought on my way. I thought on my way. So now you're thinking like, dang, you know what? I can't live like this no more. My sisters depend on me. My daughters depend on me. So now you're thinking on your ways. Read. And turn my feet unto his testimony. So now I have to turn, you have to turn your feet what, to keeping these laws. What's going to change your thinking? Read on. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. So now you have to what? Quickly keep God's rules. So the thing you should be doing, sis, is like, hey, look, you know what? Let me go to the thrift store tomorrow and get me a dress. You might got a dress at home. Go put a dress on immediately. Don't even wait. You understand that? Nah, I'm good. So, give me uh, Acts 3. Bring it Acts 3. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Read on. Repent ye therefore, and be converted. So now I remember what we just read in Psalms. It says what? Be converted. What? And then it says, turn your feet unto the laws, right? So now you have to repent and what? And be converted. Repent. Keep God's laws and be converted. So start keeping these laws. Remember, you said you pray to God. Don't you want God to hear your prayers? Yeah. So what do you have to do in order for God to hear your prayers? And do what? And put on a dress. That's what? Keeping his rules, right? Now you know that God doesn't hear your prayers now. So now you know you have to start keeping God's laws in order for him to hear you. Because you know you can't live in this world by yourself. You can't do nothing. How did you wake up? You can't even wake yourself up. So he gave you mercy to wake you up so he can hear his word today so that you can repent. So you have to hearken, sis. Because if you don't hearken, there's a penalty for that. You bust that penalty. That, that penalty, give me Leviticus 18, 29 real quick. Let me show you what that penalty is. Leviticus 18 and 29. Let me show you what that penalty is. The book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 29. Uh -huh. For whosoever shall commit any of these abominations. Now, remember, wear pants as a woman is what, sis? Right, read that again from the top. For whosoever shall commit any of these abominations. So whosoever, man or woman of Israel that commits one of these disgusting acts that God deems as an abomination, read. Even the souls that commit them shall be cut off. What does that mean, to be cut off? Give me a back of 218. 
Read that verse. Read it again. Leviticus chapter 18 verse 29. Uh -huh. For whosoever shall commit any of these abominations, uh -huh. even that so, even the souls that commit them shall be cut off from among their people. So being cut off means being put to death to make it plain to you. So an abomination, if you keep on continuing that abomination, what? You're going to be put to death by that. He ain't going to never answer your prayer. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.